Hi there, everybody. So the next function uh, on Courier Mate uh, Client Portal will be booking a collection. So we've got two ways of doing this, um, if not integrated with e-commerce. Um, you can navigate to new and then new collection to generate a collection. I will get to the screen shortly. Um, but uh, yeah, the other way was to go back to the quotes that we we did in the previous video. So when generating a quote, it does give you the option to convert this collection or this this quote uh, once accepted into a delivery, which will provide you with a delivery number. As you can see, this quote of year has been converted to a delivery, and the delivery number has been generated, <coughs> as well as a collection. So once this, uh, once you accept a quote, so by clicking on your little pencil next to the quote to edit the quote, you can convert this quote to a delivery number. So the delivery number you would leave blank because this gets auto-generated for you. You will then enter the name of the person who is accepting this quote and you click yes. This will then change your quote screen, your editing of a quote to a delivery screen with a delivery number present. So you'll see you're now on an edit delivery. It gives you the, the delivery number that was generated um, automatically. You can then click on the save button. Please just ensure that the print PDF is ticked. It should be by default, but uh, <coughs> never, it's never, uh, you know, it's never, you can never be too safe. You, you can just always check if it has been ticked off. You can click on save and this will then generate your delivery. You can use this as your delivery and your tracking number for your clients. So this can be either emailed to the collecting um, or the collection address uh, name. So your vote Breitenbach is the person who's sending the parcel off. So you will need to allocate this label to the box. Um, should this be collected from your premises, you can print this off and add it to the box uh, yourself. You can then also see that uh, you have now a delivery created uh, on your delivery screen, which was uh, created from your quote. You will also see when you navigate to your collection screen that there is a collection number created for this delivery. So I'm just going to remove that. Sorry, that shouldn't be there. Uh, so you see this will be the collection number that was generated for your delivery. So you'll see the delivery number is present over here. And your collection number will be here. So this collection number is the collection number that you can use to uh, reference with our collections department or even your delivery number. Um, so that's basically how to generate a collection using your quote function. But furthermore, I'm going to I'm going to move back to the new collection. So this is without generating a quote first. This is if you just want to uh, generate a collection in general without knowing the cost, uh, or if you actually know that it's going to be the minimum cost, you can just generate a collection um, from the screen directly rather than doing the whole quote thing and then converting it. Um, I do apologize for the waiting. It does seem like the internet is a bit slow. Um, but okay, so we're on the new collection screen. Once again, you'll see you've got your three tabs. Um, this is your general addresses and pieces. For this one, once you've filled in all the details, the charges tab won't uh, won't appear, seeing as it's not a quote. But it basically works uh, exactly the same as the quote details that we had previously uh, when generating a quote. You'll see a lot of similarities over here. Um, but in the general tab, you will have your customer details. Once again, you can't, you can't change this. This is linked to your account. You can then change your um, collection name. Should it not be collected from your uh, your premises, you can change this. I'm just going to show you again. You can either change it to voter or the person that you're collecting from. Um, or you can keep it as your demo company or the company that is linked to this if it needs to be collected from your depot. For this example, um, I'm going to leave it as is. It's going to be collected from Jock Demo Company in the origin of Johannesburg. Um, we are going to 
do a overnight service please just remember that this service now becomes very very important um, so if it needs to go overnight to Cape Town please note that it will be uh, arranged for overnight uh, collection and delivery so very important to select the correct service uh, should it be a local parcel so from Joburg to Joburg, Cape Town to Cape Town, Durban to Durban you would use the same day local function and this is for the main centers so you'll use the same day local service for something uh, done locally if it's uh, inter inter branch or inter interstate parcels it'll be overnight or road freight for the rest of the countries uh, depending on which you feel will be the correct service that you require um, again reference so you can add a reference um, of an we normally use the example of an invoice number uh, which the client then uh, you've got an invoice that you've invoiced the client or you've got an invoice where you've purchased something from your your supplier you can add that invoice number just for us to have a reference when collecting the parcel um, from the collection address so you can add that reference um, reference field in there it does show that it's a mandatory field so I do think we will need to enter a value here which is it, it is not the norm but I'm going to leave it blank for now just to see what it does. Um, I'll show you the error should it actually pop up an error. Driver and agent you can leave as none. Um, invoice value and total pieces can be none for now. We will be filling in the pieces in the pieces tab a little bit later. So the collection should it be to a specific uh, be delivered to a specific place. This one collection you can add uh, the collection details on the right hand side. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pause for a bit because I've got to, I've got to explain something um, with regards to the nature of your business um, because we can treat this in, in, multiple way, in multiple ways. So should this be collected from a supplier, I would suggest that you have the collection name as your supplier name and then the delivery name as your company name, hence it is going to your premises. But should you have a collection and the nature of your company is that you are supplying multiple deliveries from this one collection so we are collecting from your premises but we're collecting five or six deliveries going to different uh, delivery addresses you would not need to complete the delivery uh, delivery side of this collection seeing as it is going to various places it will then just confuse us and it will then force you to capture a collection for each delivery uh, that needs to be done which means you're going to have to capture five collections which is a lot of work um, as well as it will then spam us with five collection email addresses so we would prefer that you only book one collection from your premises and leave the delivery name blank uh, stating that it will be um, it will be various deliveries going to various places but if it is a singular parcel that is being sent you can complete the delivery details um, on the right hand side because that would then just save you the effort of having to do it when you uh, then convert it to a delivery you don't have to capture that delivery from scratch um, when it comes to various deliveries uh, from one collection we would rather have the one collection booked and then we then capture the deliveries separately afterwards which will be the next video that I that I produce uh, will be creating new deliveries so for this uh, example, I'm going to leave the delivery name as blank because I'm going to assume that we're doing three or four parcels um, going to various places. Uh, so only one collection from your premises at this stage. But once again, this can be completed. It's not set in stone that you can leave it or that you have to leave it blank. Um, so if you actually fill in a singular one, you would need to have a destination. Once again, you can add an, an other service, but the other service will have additional charges as mentioned in uh, previous videos. You can add special instructions to this collection. So special instructions stating that the driver needs to collect at the back door or the, uh, the driver needs to be there between 11 and 12. So special instructions is basically uh, we, anything that you feel can help us or assist us with the collection. Uh, we close uh, for lunch. Hi. Uh, lunch, uh, close for lunch, 12 to 1. 
I just want to fill this in completely. Okay, so 12 to 1, we close for lunch, so that'll be your special instructions. And from here forth, you can navigate to your, sorry, you can have a picking order number. So this is if we have to collect from from a service provider or your um, your supplier, you can have a picking order number should they provide you with one. So we would then navigate to the addresses tab. So you'll see that your company details is already on the left hand side. Um, it's a bit contradicting seeing as it was loaded as Paro and it's now Joburg on the on the general tab, but that would uh, would not happen. This, again, this, once again, this is a demo company. Your details will be present on the left hand side in your collections address. Delivery address again, uh, once again, it is various deliveries, so we leave the delivery addresses blank. Should it be a singular collection and delivery, you can add the details on the right hand side just to complete. Uh, the way will easier when we create a delivery. Uh, so next we would go to the pieces. You would then, if there is multiple pieces, you can add, there are five parcels to collect and it weighs about 20 kilograms in total and hit plus. This way we would then know that there are five different deliveries coming our way when collecting. Um, and it is approximately 20 kilograms. So now this is again uh, various deliveries. We need at least one record in this grid. So uh, it could just state one, 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 one all the way through if it's various places um, or various deliveries, but we do need one record. So you at least need to add one line of values. Uh, from here forth, you can click on save and this will then generate your collection. You can see over here we've created the collection. So this is your collection screen. It did not open the pop-up seeing as I already had a tab open. It just refreshed that tab with uh, the collection number over here. So this will be the collection number for your various collection or deliveries that we need to do from your company on the left hand side. You'll see that the special instructions are visible over here. Uh, this will be your collection number as I said to reference with our collections department. If we close this off, you'll see your screen is now automatically on your collections uh, tab or your collection screen, which can be a look or uh, which can be navigated to by clicking on operations and collections. So you will see this is the collection that we booked um, now with the various delivery points. We've got the collection uh, at Jock Demo Company. The origin is in Joburg. There are five deliveries that we need to collect and we close for lunch between 12 and 1 so we need to uh, not try and bother you between that time or we won't get access to your building at that time seeing as there will be nobody there so that is it for booking a collection this will then be uh, emailed automatically to our collections department um, and also be visible on their collections board so your collection has now been successfully booked um, again if you then have got manual labels, it can be converted to a delivery by clicking on the pencil, then clicking the convert and adding a delivery number. If you want to convert that delivery or that collection to a delivery and you do not have a manual number, you can leave this number blank and it should generate a number for you. It will take you to the edit delivery screen and you'll see there's your delivery number. You can now click on save and it will then no, sorry, you need to complete the delivery details on this one. So once again, if it's a singular one, you will then add the delivery details on the right hand side and then click on save to have the delivery created as a PDF. So it can be converted from a collection, um, but if it's various deliveries, it's not necessary. This is again, once again, if it's only a singular delivery uh, or collection and delivery, you, you can convert it to a Weibull. But um, if it's various, uh, the conversion process uh, does not need to be followed. Um, you can leave it open because that would then be a collection for various deliveries to be done or collected from your, your premises to be completed to various uh, delivery addresses. So thank you very much for listening. So that is it for uh, generating a collection. Um, our next video will be uh, new deliveries. Um, thank you very much and chat soon.